Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, July 1st, and today I thought it would be a good day to film a vlog. I just have some stuff to do today, some errands to run, so I thought I could bring y'all along with me. Cody is over doing a job, which by the way, Cody has started a pressure washing business. So if you are in the Houston area and need some pressure washing done, Cody would love to be your guy. I will leave his Facebook page down below as well as a way to contact him if you would like for him to come pressure wash your house or your sidewalk, whatever, he can help you out. But little tangent, had to hype up Cody for a minute. But yeah, I thought I would bring y'all along today with me and it should be fun. Let's get the day started. Got the little chicaronis, a watermelon to have as their morning snack. There you go, ladies. Their favorite thing. Look at these watermelons. I threw them out of their cage to go in the trash, but they eat every last bit of watermelon out of here. Look at that. Y'all are some cuties. So I don't know what has been going on with me lately, but when I wake up in the mornings, I am exhausted. And the thing is, when I wake up, I have to come in here and take my thyroid pills and I can't have anything to eat or drink besides, you know, a cup of water for 30 minutes after I take my pill. So what I've been doing is setting a timer on my watch. I've got like less than three minutes left for 30 minutes after I take my pill. So I know just how long until I can finally have some coffee in the mornings. So I'm getting over here preparing my little iced coffee machine for me to make me a cup of coffee. By the way, I know so many of y'all told me this little iced coffee maker that I did a review on not too long ago was kind of like a gimmick, but I've gotta say, I do really enjoy this thing. It's so easy, it's a single serving. I don't have to brew a whole pot of coffee. It's just so nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Coffee Mate sugar-free hazelnut creamer. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of this stuff into my coffee. And then I also add a little squirt of stevia because I just love really sweet coffee. But yeah, there we have it. I've got my coffee, my timer is done. We're ready to start our day. Sit down. Well, it's time for the two cutest cockers in the world to get a treat. Bo, you got spit on your lip, <laughs> but I got y'all treats. Cooper, you get to go first today. There you go, Bo. Y'all enjoy. Oh yeah, Bo does not savor the flavor. He scarfs it down. So it is now 12-12 and I am getting hungry. So I am gonna go grill up some chicken breasts for lunch. I had actually seasoned these up last night and was gonna throw them on the smoker, but I was having some issues and I didn't end up cooking them. So we're about to go throw these chicken breasts on the grill and we're gonna have us a chicken sandwich for lunch. I have my grill out here preheated to a low medium heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw on these chicken breasts. Just throw them right there on the grill grates and gonna let them cook. Let her rip. Just flipped over the chicken breasts and they are looking mighty fine. I got my chicken breasts all grilled up and they look awesome. So what I did was let them rest for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna slice them up and make me my first meal of the day. And these two are sitting here hoping they get some chicken too. You're not gonna get any, I'm sorry. Look at that cute little nub though. Y'all are just so cute. Let's go ahead and assemble my chicken sandwich. So I have a whole wheat bun right here that I just lightly toasted in the toaster oven. So on the bottom, I am going to add some pieces of my sliced chicken, trying to make it fit a little bit better. And we'll add the last piece, because why not? That's gonna be a lot of chicken for this little sandwich. Now I am going to add a little bit of this chipotle mayo to the top bun. I just thought it would give it some extra flavor. Not gonna add too much, but 
just enough in the middle. And now a big old handful of shredded lettuce right on top. I know half of this is gonna fall off, but I love the shredded lettuce on there. Way too much of it actually. And then lastly, I go in with my everything bagel seasoning and add a ton of this on there as well. And I know you can't see the chicken sandwich under all the lettuce, but it's gonna be delicious. I also have a little bowl of blueberries to eat on the side that I got in my Misfits Market order the other day. I got my lunch all fixed and it is time to dig in. This is an obnoxiously large amount of lettuce that I put on this sandwich, but y'all, she looks so darn good. Oh, I'm so excited. I have not had a chicken sandwich in weeks and this is like my favorite meal ever i could eat this for like breakfast lunch and dinner it is so good so what i'm going to do is dig in eat my bloobs and then i'm trying to decide if i want to go swimming at my parents after this because it's a beautiful day and i could use some exercise after i finished eating lunch i did some work on the computer and i decided it was a beautiful day i was gonna throw on my swimsuit and come over here to my parents pool for just a little while i've got a phone call i've got to get on in like an hour and a half but i figured i could come and soak up the sun do some swimming for a little bit of a workout and just get out of the house for a little bit i've been cooped up for a couple of days we've had a lot of rain and we're predicted more rain for the next eight days so while we have a little bit of sunshine, even though it looks like it's gonna thunderstorm all around me, we're gonna do some swimming. Well, I just got home from swimming at my parents' house and I had a good old time. So ignore the crazy hair and probably the mascara underneath my eyes, but it is what it is. But it was so nice to just go swim around, do a couple flips off the diving board, just to tell myself that I can still do it. But that was fun. I feel refreshed now. So it's time to get back to work, doing some stuff on the computer, responding to emails, editing a video all kinds of fun stuff and I have a meeting in a couple of minutes on the phone. So about to get to work on that for a little while and I will check in with you when I'm done. Pulling up to deliver Cody some chemicals that he needs to finish up this job. There he is. Hey. Hi. It's in the back seat. Hello. Sorry. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Have fun working. Bye. Well, it's the afternoon now, so it's time to let the chickens out for their afternoon escapades through the backyard and hoping that no hawks decide to fly by and say hello. You want to say hi as you all go out to play? <laughs> Hey cutie, I love your beard. It's very adorable. Hello everyone. Hello. What are you? You weird looking thing. Hey ladies. Y'all are just the cutest. Oh, there they go. Running away. Hey guys, so it is the next day now. I actually ended up getting a bad headache last night and just kind of stopped filming. So here we are, refreshed. I'm just gonna pick up the vlog and keep on filming today, taking y'all along with me. So what we're doing right now is starting to get prepped for our 4th of July cookout. We went and picked up some meat from the chopping block and now we've got to clean out our smoker. So Cody and I are about to get to work on that, clean it out and getting ready for the fourth. When I head inside, I'll show you the meat we picked up because it's gonna be delicious. Well, we got the grill cleaned out and it seems like she is gonna be good to go for the 4th of July now. Cody and I finished cleaning out the grill. She's running great, so got her back in working order. So let me show you what we picked up from the meat market today to cook tomorrow. So we got some short ribs. These, I've never cooked them, but they told me since I have never done a brisket 
this is like a really good like workup meat to try out before I go and smoke a whole brisket. We got two different types of hamburger patties. We got Wagyu habanero and cheddar and these things called dirt burgers, which is like a seasoning that is put on the burgers. And then we got three different types of sausage. We tried this Wagyu bacon cheeseburger sausage the other day and it was hands down the best sausage I've ever had my entire life. So of course we picked up six of them so we could share them with the fam and let them try them out too. We got some chipotle cheddar sausage and the last thing we got was this elk jalapeno and cheddar sausage too. So we are ready for the 4th of July cookout. It's gonna be really, really good. So I'll probably do a video on that for the 4th, but I thought I'd, I'd give you a little a little pre-show, show you what we're gonna be cooking. <laughs> well, y'all, do you remember the other day when I had a snake crawl into my truck? Yeah, he is. Well, I officially am going to have to burn my truck now. Oh, no. I found him. <laughs> He's right here, and look at how big this thing is. He's almost the same length as me. I'm five foot one. It's a big freaking snake. This is the guy, he went up into my truck and today he was waiting for us at our side door, waiting to say hello. Cody about stepped on him. But what we're gonna do is safely relocate him where he's not living in our house and he will go on to live another day. <laughs> it's the first day I've let Cooper out here with the chickens because he likes to chase my mom's two chickens. So I'm sitting out here supervising and I don't think he knows what to do with 11 chickens surrounding him. He's like, whoa. So this is one of the only other chickens I have named. I named her Minnie because it's been the tiniest little chick and she's been the smallest from the start. But she could also be named Fancy Pants because look at these leg feathers. They are fancy. She just got leg feathers everywhere. You are just so cute. She's got the cutest little beard too. I know, okay. You got stuck in the coop. I'm going to put you with your friends. Come on. She's like, I don't like this. Come here. Let me return you to your flock. There you go. Well guys, with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I think there's been enough excitement in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll be filming a 4th of July vlog tomorrow, cooking all of those delicious meats we went and bought today. So keep an eye out for that. But if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye, guys. Mm.